Hi, my name is Ramika Mito and I'm a PhD candidate from the Florey Institute of Neuroscience and Mental Health. I work in the Advanced MRI Development Laboratory with Professor Alan Connolly and we have recently published some of our work in BRAIN. Our paper investigates fibre specific white matter reductions in Alzheimer's disease and mild cognitive impairment and uh, this work involves the application of a novel technique known as pixel based analysis. Previous work investigating changes to white matter fibre pathways has largely involved uh, voxel-based analyses of diffusion MRI data. However, given that most white matter voxels contain crossing fibre populations, these studies have been unable to pr provide fibre-specific results. Here we used a novel technique called fixel-based analysis, which was developed by the imaging team here at the Flory. Fixel-based analysis uses higher order diffusion models, which enables us to com perform fibre-specific comparisons within voxels, hence the term fixel. With fixel-based analysis, we can estimate fibre pathway-specific changes that arise due to a change in axonal density or fibre density, due to a change in fibre bundle cross-sectional area, or we can combine these metrics of fibre density and cross-section to come up with a combined metric which we call FDC. This enables us to most comprehensively analyse the total interaxonal volume changes within a specific fibre pathway. In this study, we applied this new technique to investigate diffusion MRI images collected from individuals who were part of the ABLE study. And these individuals were either cognitively healthy elderly individuals or had a diagnosis of mild cognitive impairment or Alzheimer's disease. Using pixel-based analysis, we showed that Alzheimer's disease patients exhibit substantial decreases in fibre density and cross-section across a number of fibre pathways compared to controls. The affected pathways are shown here for each metric and coloured by their percentage decrease compared to controls. We can also visualise the specific fibre pathways affected by colour coding these tracks according to the orientation of the fibre structures. The white matter fibre pathways affected in Alzheimer's disease included specific fibre tracks that are thought to connect pathologically and functionally affected grey matter regions from the previous literature. Our study also included a population of patients with mild cognitive impairment who often, but not always, go on to develop Alzheimer's disease. When we investigated the fibre pathways that were affected in this mild cognitive impairment cohort, using attractive interest analysis, we found that of the fibre pathways that were affected in our Alzheimer's disease patients, it was the posterior cingulum bundles and the right uncinate fasciculus in particular that appeared to show decreases in fibre density and cross-section when compared to controls. When we further investigated this MCI cohort, we found that it was in fact the MCI patients with low amyloid accumulation who appeared to show greater degeneration in the left posterior cingulum compared to healthy control subjects, more so than MCI patients with high amyloid ac accumulation. This result suggested that the posterior cingulum may not necessarily be a useful predictor for progression from mild cognitive impairment to Alzheimer's disease, as has previously been suggested. Rather, uh, it may be that subtle degeneration of this fibre pathway uh, is linked to cognitive impairment irrespective of underlying pathology. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like and share our paper on your professional networks and feel free to contact us if you have any queries regarding our methods or analyses.